Hi guys, I'm going to show you today how to create a Noxy on VMware version 10. So we'll start just creating the virtual machine. I'm using my AXT server. We'll just set up some defaults. We'll choose Linux, other Linux, 32 bytes. A drive size 30 gigabytes just to be sure and then we are going to once we finish we're going to set up some settings like removing the floppy drive and removing the DVD drive that's it now let's start this virtual machine and let's bring the console up what we will need here is the MAC address, right? So now let's start here. Submit ITX starter, as usual. I have my folder with version 10, version 9.1. So let's just start. We'll select Linux plus call handling just as usual and here we will choose flight server the version will be the release plus a patch right country just choose your country I'm choosing Brazil it's fine installation type standard network type will choose company network right I'm going through my wireless connection to the XT server so I will choose the correct interface well it's already selected if not please choose the correct interface and here comes the parameters so we will need So once we hit apply, what will what this will do is to create a DHCP server, and we'll broadcast the information through this interface to this MAC address only, right? So now we reboot our VMware. got the IP address here the versions and as you can see it will install the GPS here you have the name the default path all the information standard information right the interesting part here is that using Glade we will not need any TCP IP pipe like used to be on previous versions been a long while since I do a installation or a video installation but I just wanted to share with you so from now on it will just be all the standard installation this ends well as you can see we just installed the Linux part and now we'll install the Oxy part actually uh, after this as, al as I was saying we will create the blank database and configure some initial parameters like the IP address for this virtual machine and we will see how it works 
right here.
and there we go guys so the installation just finished successfully the system is starting as you can see we can see the console from the PBX a normal startup and we will just quit the PC installer as we no longer need it and we'll begin with the PBX minimal configuration right security level well five no we don't need just for that purpose the nice about this is that here you actually can test all this stuff without any fear about the machine level zero no security means no ssh no password aging no <coughs> trusted servers connections and stuff like that okay not recommended for production environments but for labs it's okay okay so just confirm the settings yes and there we go <coughs> and there we have our pbx ready usual password mccl and there we go so from now on you should be able to create a, an empty database you should be able to run the system configuration load an OPS file you may have for version 10 or the same process works for version 9.1 also I am amazed how simple it is now to make this work remember the first attempt we had about launching VMware Oxy on VMware were kind of difficult, right? Hacking some Linux files and stuff, but now it's pretty straightforward. Version 10.1 about uh, Oxy supports VMware itself, so no, you shouldn't have any problems with it. Okay, so let's start. Let's do something straight. Right, um, here, create an empty database, dot c, right, there, Brazilian, yes, expert, right, database tool, right, create an empty database, of course, again Brazil inside database yes yeah here to exit okay so now we should be able to reboot the CPU but not yet now let's go to that's me, right? Sorry, slash m installation erase. Yeah, we don't have any. No, okay. So, our node name will be I don't know, VMware uh, one or 10, right? Internal resolver name, no, this time. Duplicated CPU, no, this time. CPU name, okay. Oxy 10. Yeah, I wanna add it. CPU address, here we set up an IP address for our PBX. Why not to the. Well, sorry. mask thank you for the external gateway we don't need one and that's it now we should be able to do a simple shutdown and we should have our pbx run up and running already of course 
course you won't have any IP devices, voice, all that stuff, right? You don't have any INTP ports. Well, shouldn't. It's possible, but shouldn't. Okay, guys. So here we are. Uh, so what's next? You should be able now to load an OPS and to start the telephony. Of course, I'm not going to show you how to install an OPS, but your OPS should be here, right? From restore, from CPU disk, which goes under user port, backup OPS. Just need the mal file, not the whole stuff. And then you should go to system management. Start management, right? Right now it's not set, but uh, you should be able to set it up to auto start for next time after you load your uh, OPS file, right? So that's it, guys. Uh, as you can see, now we have an IP address, and from my computer. I will be able to do a nice input. Yeah, that's it. And also a subnet, right? So we can enter from anywhere. And there we go. So easy as that. Simple now these days. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you, you can use it. Remember, read the documentations always there now under Alcal Alcatel Unleashed dot com Cabanero here for you don't bull me <laughs> see you later guys